The future USS Enterprise will be the third aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class and the ninth Navy ship to bear the name Enterprise. Currently under construction at Huntington Ingalls Industries in Newport News, Virginia, CVN-80 is on track to launch in November of 2025 and to be delivered no later than March 2029. So it's really cool to be working on CVN-80, the new Enterprise, next to the old Enterprise, which was the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Generally speaking, as was known by you all, one of the key innovations of the Gerald R. Ford class, including for the CVN-80, is the emails. That system uses electromagnetic technology instead of traditional steam catapults to give a much smoother and highly controlled takeoff of aircraft. For such reasons, those systems can also launch a greater variety of aircraft, everything from unmanned aerial vehicles to heavy strike fighters. It displaces about 100,000 long tons, carries over 80 aircraft on the flight deck that measures 1,092 feet by 256 feet. In design, the vessel allows for an extremely efficient hangar facility that is capable of housing a wide range of aircraft from F-35C fighter aircraft down to helicopters. It will be capable, in this respect, of hosting a large air wing, something that is imperatively demanded in meeting various operation demands. Steel from the decommissioned USS Enterprise CVN-65 is being used to fabricate the ship. In addition, CVN-80 will be the first aircraft carrier designed and engineered from aft to forward, using digital platforms that promote efficiencies and reduce errors in constructing highly complex systems. In its defensive systems, the USS Enterprise is to feature a state-of-the-art armamentarium of weapon and radar technologies. It is also fitted with the Raytheon Evolved Sea Sparrow missile for engaging high-speed threats and a rolling airframe missile system for close-in defense against incoming missiles. Advanced planar array radars within the radar suite ensure further improved situational awareness and target tracking performance. These will be extremely relevant in making air superiority and protection possible against aerial threats in contested environments where opponents may use sophisticated anti-ship missiles. CVN-80 attempts to improve the living standards of its crew by raising the living standards and advancing needs towards lower manpower. Advanced technologies in the vessel will reduce the crew by as many as 20% and allow for increased space for comfortable living and other amenities. This, of course, is important, not just regarding the efficiency of the operation, but in sustaining the morale of the crew in prolonged deployments at sea. With the commissioning date just around the corner for the CVN-80, she is representative both of the state-of-the-art in naval warfare technology and the proud tradition of the name Enterprise throughout annals of the U.S. Navy.